What's going on guys? We're back in the crew motor fest on PC with the AC Strict RTX 4090 graphics card. Let me go ahead and show you the graphics settings very quickly. Oops. So we are running a 170 MHz core clock, 1185 MHz memory clock. We're running a 3040 by 2160 MHz 4K 144Hz display. TAA for anti aliasing and frame rate is unfortunately limited to 60 frames per second. Nothing I can do about that until there's a mod or whatever that removes that limiter. All the graphics settings are fully maxed out. We're using a high setting of motion blur and uh, HDR 10 is enabled. You may have to wait one day for the process on YouTube. So we're still doing American Muscle events and we're going to check out uh, another event here. But so far the game's been a lot of fun. Definitely enjoying it. And friendly reminder, this Thursday you get to play for free up to five hours on a uh, console, PC, whatever system you have you can play it, uh, so that'd be kind of cool. Check out the next event here. Ooh, that's a seeped up Mustang. Fastback, stunt edition. Just get the cup se uh, cutscenes here. Focus on racing. Hey, look at those turbos, that's sick. Hey dude, we're back. This time it's one of those outrun type of events. Drive fast, hit the checkpoints on time. It's just like that red game. I wanna see what the interior looks like. Look at those turbos. It's awesome. Not a very high top speed though. That's my mixtape we're listening to. Meshes well with the sound of the engines, you feel me? I couldn't put you through a muscle car ride without some proper riffs, could I? Well, I got the music turned down, so I'm only listen to the engine. I wanna look at the uh view here. That's pretty cool. You can really hear those gear shifts. What kind of vibe are you getting from that Mustang GT? The thing about muscle cars is it's all about that optimal weight power ratio, which brings top notch performance, that sweet spot. That turn. I just love those loving effects. Even the reflections look pretty detailed. Of course, it's not ray trace, but very nice uh, screen, screen space reflections. Finish big. 
us. A perfect drive. How about that? It's a pretty long race. Yeah, once I pile up enough money, I'll start getting some uh, better cars and seep them up. Back to the BMW M4. Got a nice jungle environment here. I want to check out this uh, jungle area. It's pretty cool. Yeah, just like uh, Horizon 5, Forza. It's really cool. The trees actually look larger. Very cool atmosphere. Choice of words. Just head towards the beach and you'll understand. We're real close. Ginormous trees are wow. Oh, I'm assuming this is going to be an off-road event, considering where it's at. So it'll be one more event, and then I'll probably close up the video. I got other things I got going on today, so... Try this out real quick. I'm assuming it's an off-road event. I'm just going to keep it where it's at. Oh, monster trucks. That should be interesting. Skip the cutscenes. Yeah, this is crazy. It's like a whole nother game. <laughs> this looks so bizarre. So yeah, it's like it's at the inside. Like a show high up a bit. This giant obviously won't handle like a regular Mustang GT. Lucky for you, this is a two-lap race. You got one lap to find the footing and one to feed your opponent some dirt. Yeah, so much variety in this game, you know? Literally feels like some kind of monster truck game now. Here comes the jump. Now let's crank it to I remember Forest Horizon 5 also had like a monster truck event where you're going against like some huge monster truck if you're in like a like a regular vehicle. Damn, that was a long lap. Real American monster trucks are used in two types of competitions. Freestyle stunt and racing. Given Motorfest's racing DNA, we obviously went for the latter. I got it back up.
Metallica. I think. Or the Rob Zombie. Can't remember. Cool, so we'll check out one more event and then I'll probably close up the video. And yeah, I may have to raise the difficulty setting because that is pretty easy. Get back to the BMW M4. What a win! The first of many, I am sure. I hope you enjoyed that treat, driver. This playlist wouldn't be complete without a proper taste of the American showmanship. Now, back on track. We're heading north for a race through the swamp this time. Don't worry, you'll still be driving a muscle car. The Mustang GT from 2011 is waiting for you as we speak. Except this unit is custom made for off-roading. Jim's passion for muscle cars is not restricted to asphalt. That man would drive muscle cars on the moon if he could. I already missed so many of them, so there's no reason to even try, I don't think. Those electric hypercars sound crazy. I screwed up that event. I missed so many on purpose. Check out this one more event and then I'll close up the video. Cause I got other things going on today, so see all this place. So off-road equipped Mustang GT. In some swampy environment. I'll skip the cutscenes. Red deck. Red deck Mustang. Nice jungle environment, I love it. Oh, that's not they even put the animation for the fans to spin on that radiator. I like that. Because I've seen a lot of games where they have fans there, but they don't even spin. So it actually adds the animation there. That's pretty cool. I like that detail. So props to them for doing that. Because so many games I've played where they, they showed a vehicle like this and there'd be no fan spinning. So that's pretty cool.
Yeah, they did really good job with the sound. I mean, like, when you go inside, it sounds totally different. It really does. It's like a whole other beast. It's really detailed. So big props to them with the sound uh, effects there. Really good. So I've been definitely enjoying uh, this title. For sure. Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to close up the video here and I'm going to get some uh, things done today and uh, I will try to record a little bit later today. Uh, maybe closer to the evening. So thanks for watching. Appreciate all support. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. We'll definitely be recording more uh, videos of this game and uh, definitely enjoying it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around. Peace out.